yeah so uh happy new year guys uh today uh wait what's it called today it's ninth one the ninth one or the tenth one okay so i'm doing the ninth one i'm a bit high right now because i want to be very honest and straight up about this vlog now that i realize realize that i have hit 50 subscribers i wish to thank all of you and your double accounts as well but this year let's go uh the next step let's go for the big grind go for the big hundred I realize that you all, all have to make an extra account just to make this goal come true. But hey, let's do this. And uh, segueing back into the video, there's no transition, but like just imagine, and then like it's a new me now. So just imagine that this is maybe I had a bit too much. That's possible. Oh uh, yeah. So uh, today we're gonna talk about. Today we're gonna talk about. Have I used that before? No, I have stolen that from somewhere. Irrelevant. You guys probably will know, but do you know? I just said that I stole it, so you definitely know that it's stolen from somewhere. Yeah, um, I wanted to talk about how like my looks have caused certain perceptions. Not exactly uh, what you might be thinking, but like yeah, but also yeah, possibly it could be it could make sense. Yeah, so uh, generally I'm a very sociable person. I like talking. I like going out. I like doing like sports and some stuff. And uh, I'm I think I'm an extrovert in terms of how often I go out at least. And like, yeah, so more on that now, uh, at college, I have a specific image that uh, not one person or three people or some shit like that, but like a majority of my friends see me, uh, they thought that at least like at least when they got to know me at first and they had like this certain image and it took a while to break that image, even though I never uh, mentioned that I was not this talkative and stuff. So a person told me that like, oh, you're such an introvert. And I'm like, I don't think you like, I mean, I don't mind being an introvert, but at the same point in time. Do I give off that vibe, which is what I thought. And then like, I asked like, over oh, like last year, he put out my coffee loco among like my uh, friends group specifically. And I was like, so am I an introvert? Like here or there, I must have asked. I remember I asked Arjun when he was high and he's like, how? I asked Maya, I think I asked the uh, Kronal, Adil, Priyanka, like here or there. And I have, I have gear, dropped like questions like this, like a lot in a lot of conversations with different people. And they were like, no, you're not really more or less. And I'm like, fair enough, makes sense. So I was thinking about how like I feel about my perceptions as well. Like not just their people's perceptions ki, oh ye uh, sex pahen ta to ye nerd hoga. Iske room mein anime ka posters padhe hain which, which look really great in the first lecture. And I was like here and like Naruto behind me like, huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was clear from the get go what type of people I was cutting for. But uh, so people usually had that whole idea that like I'm not a very fun person I'm like cool your fun might be different from mine not that way but like in general they thought that I would be like a Debbie Downer and uh, it's not the case yeah me pretty cool am I that cool though no I'm not I'm not cool enough to make the whisper sound thing that like oh yeah this is an effect that's happening but yeah um, what was I talking about uh, at this one point in time in college some teacher of ours had asked us that like how do you dip, how do you make your perspectives on people like do you look at their physical attributes and like how do you like make a bias in your brain about them which is like very weird because me for me for me because yeah it was pretty weird for me because um i had not thought about this shit since like 11 standard times when i realized that i was actively doing something like this and he said like i haven't given it a thought and that some guy called me and now i have to uh do some shit again what's it called yeah uh <laughs> yeah um fuck i forgot the topic perceptions perceptions and biases my perceptions and biases yeah so uh, i used to have this specific idea that like anyone who looked like <laughs> it's weird but like okay anyone who looked good has like a 90 percent chance of being a bully or someone who would cause me some sort of trauma or pain. So I was like, Dur rahenge, khush rahenge. And then that started changing at the end of like 11th, where I was like, bro, the fuck you're doing? You know, it's not like this, just this one thing that like caused me to do that. But uh, in a general length of things, you feel me? Uh, I had a lot of biases as such. He like, oh, aise log ne aisa ko treat kiya tha, so I'll have like, the same mental imagery. And like, if someone seems similar to me, I'll mark those flags and I won't be friends with them. Which made my group circle very limited for a very long period of time. The moment I was like, biases aren't really important. I got good looking friends and I got a lot of friends. <laughs> and a lot of not good looking friends also. See, just because uh, you're my friend, I'm not going to patronize you. If you're not good looking, sorry, you're not good looking. I was going to name someone, but then I forgot who can I name. Because like all the people whose names came into my head, like, no, <laughs> they're pretty. I'm like, they're good looking by my standards. And I like them also. Uh, but like yes people are ugly like you 
Tanmay, let's let's throw Tanmay under the bus. Sure, sure. Tanmay, you're not very pretty. Uh, easy though. He makes weird sounds. He is pretty on the inside. My God. All I can all I can think of in my brain right now are like kabutar sounds that he makes randomly from time to time. My. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, going back to the main part of the video, I had to do, I had to get it out of my system. Otherwise, it kept playing in my brain. So I had to pr -pr -pr into the conversation. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so I had like certain biases that like I won't be friends with certain type of people because of my certain these things or whatnot, which is like I'm seeing something similar now, but different. So I have a lot of people in college again. So they have this general perceptional idea of who I am. So uh, on a general scale, they think I'm some padaku nerd guy. But nerd guy part makes sense. Padaku also makes sense. But I don't know for some reason that also means that I can't have a social life or have a personality. A friend of mine actually told me that like, dude, how do you have so many friends? And I'm like, haven't you seen? Haven't you heard me talk, bitch? Um, sass aside, um, <laughs> I don't talk like that. I'm not that rude yet. Uh, <laughs> Another guy had this one specific, he's like, he, he's like a good friend of mine, but he told me that like, you have a like, uh, good, like, I originally thought that you were not very open to like, meeting new people and like, maybe that's because like the online thing and shit, right? Because I think that I'm like, coffee open if someone drops me a text, I would text back. Or if I feel like, oh, conversation bans like I'll drop a text and we'll text from there. Um, and that was a very weird thing for me again, because like, uh, what's this called? Uh, the guy who I had this conversation with is also like a pretty famous fun guy at college, uh, like in classes or whatever. So he had this one live where I went to watch it was very fuck it was pretty, pretty entertaining. It was like two three months back, and I was like must must be that personality to such a good kind. He he can do like good comedy skits and shit. Should I link his channel in the no, his Insta? But like no, uh, he does not deserve this. This will be a paid uh, collaboration at some point in time. <laughs> But yeah, um, what was he saying? Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. But um, yeah, so Uskabad, like, I think recently, like, two, three days back or something, I did a live after a very, very long time. And so in during college, I'd done a live only once at, like, 2 a.m. or something, and none of the college people were even on my Insta list at that point in time. So they did not know that I used to do this. So uh, I had like, I used to do a lot of few lives during the, this thing also the lockdown also. And this uh, other classmate of mine mentioned when I went live and he's like, uh, entertainment is for sure. And I'm like, I like you. I like the other guy too with friends in general. But like, I don't know why you have this perception that just because he is doing something, I can't do the same thing. Like, I'm like, First of all, it's my fucking, it's my Instagram. If I do live, I will do Even if his preference is like to come and say that you should not do a live. I'm like, great, your ears are bursting. I'm getting view accounts. That should be a bar in a rap I should write at some point. Oh yeah, that also reminds me, uh, along with this perceptions all thing, I have been writing a lot of things which is why I have been inactive on YouTube. I don't think I have to justify people who are watching my YouTube channels, what I'm doing other than YouTube. Oh yeah, uh, fair enough. So I wrote this weird thing. So like I'm... Um, getting interested in the whole thing of like slam poetry because I think it's really really fucking cool to like see people going like yeah ye mera story mein sunega. and then people are like yes that was empowering and like what now like I think that should be fun to write I have written one of them and I'm writing a different-ish one so if you guys have heard of EX uh, so exurb 1A damn good videos has these weird um, poetic style storytelling thing and it hits so good. So I'm trying to write something which is similar to that vibe. And uh, yeah, so these are my side projects that side projects that I'm doing alongside. Mm, what else is there? I should have done an Alibag vlog. I did not do any recording in Alibag, which can be posted on YouTube without me going to jail subsequently. So that's not coming out anytime soon. Uh, <laughs> but at the same point in time, there are like what? Uh, what do you call it? I'm pretty sure even I have biases, like when I look at a person or like when I speak to them for the first time, I know that I develop this thing and I get like their whole side of it too. Like they have had experiences, which is why they're thinking of me in a certain way, but it feels a bit irritating because I had thought that I had rebranded and repositioned myself as like a proper extrovert after like three, four years back or something. And I'm like, what's the thing? Bye.